Right, hi everyone, welcome to Oscar Outdoors. Uh, tonight I'm going to be hammock camping in the local permission woodland. Uh, I'm not coming to the usual spot though. The uh, landowners give me and Dan a call and just says, Can you come down? We've had a bit of trouble. Uh, can you come down and just sort of tidy it up, show your face, you know, show that you're still using it? Because it's been, must be October, the last time that we were here. Uh, so it's been quite a long time. Might even be before October actually. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we'll come down and we're just going to sort of tidy up a little bit, make a make his presence known. Um, as Dan said in his video, if you've watched this, uh, it's quite hard to get hold of some permission woodland. So if you've got some, keep hold of it, keep land on the suite, you know, and you know, have that good relationship between you because land is so, so hard to get onto. Uh, but tonight I'm in my DIY hammock. Um, I put a little post up on YouTube on the community page uh, and asked you what I should be using to camp. And the DIY hammock came out on top, so I'm going to be using that. Um, although I have just got uh, for Christmas, I know Santa's not been yet, but I've just got the uh, terrain pattern ionosphere fly sheet as well, uh, forty-nine pound. So I know that's uh, waiting in Santa's sack for me. But yeah, I'm gonna get set up, and I'll uh, see you in a minute. Right, so as you can see, I'm in the DIY hammock setup. Uh, so the hammock is a uh, cheap one that I found on I don't know if it were Amazon or AliExpress or something. Uh, about 20 quid, and then I've modified and stitched on um, an under blanket, a uh, snug pack under blanket, and the snug pack top coat. I've stitched them so it's all sort of in one. Uh, now, the temperature's not due to drop uh, sort of 
dramatically tonight but as you can probably hear on the top it is raining now um, it's coming up about four o'clock it's just about to start getting dark um, i've got my sleep suit with me as well so that should have, give me a couple of uh, more degrees extra warm but in extreme winters what i've done with this hammock is you can see the bug net um, i can actually drop the bug net completely um, and then use a cocoon over the top as well so i'll have the under blanket the top cover, and a cocoon so for like electric extreme sort of deep cold winters um, underneath as well there is space to store uh, a bag or something un between the hammock and the under blanket so i could use like an, an air mat there as well um, i'll do a full video on the setup because it is i'm quite impressed with my little self being able to pull something like that off so yeah um, but yeah tonight I'm going to be cooking a chilli con carne um, nothing special I've got some pita bread to sort of make like soft tacos uh, some minced meat some uh, chilli sort of con carne mix and then I brought with me the, the naga chilli spice as well that was recommended to me by Matt um, who again has been out last night up in Scotland showed me some, some beautiful footage of him uh, up there and it looks absolutely amazing we can't wait to go back and uh, come from camp up there buddy so well done but if you've not watched this channel go across and watch it i'll leave a link in the description and i'll flash the logo on the screen for you so you know you've got the right one um, yeah right uh, just gonna chill out for 10 minutes in hammock I've been laid here for about 20 minutes now or so. Just sort of talking to Dan while he's cooking. I've been laying in the hammock, it's absolutely freezing outside. Uh, but you're not an outdoorsman if you don't tolerate a little bit of cold over there, so look at that, can you see my breath? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get up and uh, make a hot drink, try and warm myself back up. I'm warming the hammock obviously, but I, I wanna get sort of tolerated it outside. Uh, and then I'm going to do some cooking. As I said earlier, I've done some chilli, so I'll show you what I'm going to be using to cook that. Uh, yeah, right, see you in a minute. Oh, it is freezing. Right, well, as you can see, I'm still inside my tarp. Uh, this is the one wind tarp, and I've managed to get the doors closed off. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to make uh, a chilli. Well, I'm going to do a drink first, but I'll show you what I'm cooking. Uh, so yeah, just some normal beef mince. Uh, with... Uh, cheap chilli con carne mix some long grain rice and then like these mini mini peshwaris like mini naan breads so just sort of a mouthful there uh, I've got some kidney beans I won't need the full can uh, for one person but I can't put that let's go over for a minute And I brought this with me to add in. So this is uh, the Mr. Naga chili pickle, not the pilly chicle that I called it on the last one. <laughs> chili pickle, and I'm absolutely addicted to this stuff at the minute. Literally put it on everything that I eat, so like stews and stuff like that. We made it at home. You know, I've just added a spoonful of that into my bowl. Uh, I got a takeaway curry the other night, and it just I told him to make it hot. It won't want hot enough so I threw a spoonful of this in it's just if you ain't a spice go and grab a jar of that awesome again I've got to give compliments to Matt for uh, putting me onto that so yeah brilliant right I'm gonna do a brew and then I'm gonna do some cooking Oh, it's freezing. Oh, I'll quickly make this so I can get my hands warmed up. I've had my cup out, so it's got a little bit of grass in it. 
or something that's blown up another tree. I uh, engraved one litre water bottle. <laughs> What's that thing? Can you hear him? <laughs> it's all right, mate. <laughs> I what? <laughs> oh, right. Let's wait for that. Right. Well, I've got me me brew on, or I've got it started anyway. I'm just going to add this in uh, and let it self stir. Just all these these pound shop coffees. You know, they're not the best, but you know it's sufficient for while you're out and about camping and it stops you carrying little jars and stuff so uh, they are good for that sort of thing but um, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while you'll notice that I'm nearly at 6,000 now and uh, I'm just 34 short as we sit here and talk about it 34 short so please 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 if you're not yet subscribed do consider hitting that subscribe button and getting me to that 6,000 mark I'm trying to do it before Christmas Got two weeks yet, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, it's absolutely freezing. I'm not sure on the actual temperature, but I'll have a look in a minute and flash it up on screen. But my hands are red raw, look, can you see? Just gonna make this drink and then hopefully get my gloves on for a bit. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a long night in this hammock, I tell you. Dan's just 20 foot away away in his tent. I heard him sort of talking away and cooking, so we'll uh, see what he's up to in a minute. I might nip outside but I don't really want to because it's too cold. Uh, but yeah, right, let's get this coffee made. You're yeah, just adding this in before we get to the boil and stir it in the heat itself, can't it? Again, that was a tip that I picked up by watching uh, Really Big Monkey 1. Really good channel, really sort of down to earth guy. Georgia in America, I think he's best by the sound of his accent. But yeah, what a channel that is. Just down to work, just like me and Dan. Good geezer. Right. <laughs> Gonna put my gloves on. Right, so just to speed things up while my coffee's still make going. I've uh, done a little bit of prep work, so I've just done the mince and the uh, kidney beans in the pan. Just now adding some salt and pepper. It looks a lot, but it's not. It's literally about four or five mill I think these little pots are it's not actually that much um, but yeah I'm going to cook it with that and then once it's uh, browned off I'm going to add in that naga looking forward to this actually I'm absolutely freezing <laughs> I don't know if you can hear now but the wind's picked up uh, quite a bit so whatever the temperature is it feels a lot colder because of the cold wind as well the tap's probably only about a foot foot and a half off the ground and it's just sort of bellowing through so obviously it's making it hard to boil the water it's not doing a bad job though it's uh, almost there but yeah it's just making it it's making it struggle i didn't bring the wind block which uh, i normally do i normally carry it so forgot forgetting all kinds of bits and bobs out. i'm still getting back into it but yeah, the wind is really picked up now, and they're uh, just sort of battering through. But hopefully, when I get in that hammock for the last time tonight, I'll be nice and snug. Right, it's just on the cusp of boiling, so I'm just going to take that off. Just started to roll. Throw this on. Checking for leaves on bottom. Oh, I'm absolutely freezing, but it's just my hands really. It's cold. I need to get some gloves on. And uh, just let my hands on this cup for a minute. What a stupid idea, Scott. Oh, just the meat sort of starting to turn now, a bit of sizzling. 
you want to drink, but perfect for your hands. <laughs> this is my uh, engraved nesting cup as well, on this side of it. Can't really see it, can you, because it's white? Yeah. Took them up to like local uh, cobbler. Just asked if he did engraving, he said yes, yeah. so I gave him all my uh, bits and bobs I wanted. I got a fair bit done all at the same time. Uh, Pearson's of Queensbury. He's done a lot as well for my uh, scout group. I've had some keys cut for the, the new hut. Um, getting some trophies made for the kids, for the squirrels, uh, for the cubs, uh, like cub of the week type things. So he's going to do all them for me as well. I'm just trying to keep, warm my hands up but not leave it sort of static on the cup. I'm not weird, honestly. But yeah, right. I better keep an eye on this meat because it's uh, sizzling away. Just had to press my camera with my nose. Uh, I'm gonna need a bit of this into cooking it. Look at that, you can tell how strong it is. And it stains your spoon like that. <laughs> yeah, if you do like a bit of spice, that is perfect stuff. We're all faithful as well. Do I want a new pan? I don't want to stick with all faithful. We've been through some uh, trying times with me and all faithful. So do I want a new pan or not? Can't decide. Can't remember who it was actually. I'll try and find it in the comments. Someone actually wrote a full poem about me and my pan. <laughs> so I'll uh, try and throw that in the description for you below. Throw the comment up on screen as well. But. Just had uh, confirmation that vegan Dan's here uh, on his way to meet us as well. So I've asked him to pick me up a little bit of chocolate to make me feel better. <laughs> Got to buy some chocolate while they're out. Again, I've heard Dan sort of saying it as well, and uh, you know, this time of year it's, it's hard for a lot of families, but um, you know, you've got to try and provide all these uh, Christmas presents and things for your kids, and it's, I'm not struggling, um, but I've just got to be a bit more frugal than I am normally, hence the chilli, I think it's about £3 for the entire meal, £2 for the mince, I think it was 17p for the chilli mix, 80 pence maybe for the, the pichoiris, and about 14 pence for the tin of, um, what are called? Kidney beans. So yeah, I'm not scrimping, but being frugal <laughs> this time of year. Get paid, I think, the day before Christmas Eve, uh, and then it won't be till the end of January, so it's just, just sort of tightening the belt a little bit, isn't it? It's not, it's not being as extravagant as we normally would. But, you know, chilli and uh, the peshwaris, Meal fit for a king. Live like tramps, eat like kings. And um, hopefully, going to try and get out another couple of times before Christmas as well. Um, Christmas Eve is going to be a no-no, obviously. Uh, being the Friday, Saturday, um, but maybe Christmas Day night uh, could be a possibility for me. We'll see. Oh. Do you know? <laughs> Joys of camping, you know, you're out, it's bitterly cold, I've got these fire resistant gloves, or heat resistant gloves on, and warming my hands up and I'm sat, sort of making the chilli, 
out in the open and it, and it does just do wonders for your mental health. Um, I have had my own sort of demons with mental health and things in the past but you know at the moment I'm, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great and just coming out and doing this although it's cold and I'm sort of punishing myself a little bit there's no better feeling. So if you've been thinking about doing it don't just think about it, just get up do it. You don't have to have millions of pounds to go and start a, a hobby such as bushcraft or wild camping. It's, it can get expensive if you want all the best gear or you get a bit I don't know, OCD like me, you've got to have, if you've got one snug pack thing, you've got to have everything snug pack, or if you've got one one wind tap, you've got to have everything sort of one wind, you know, you, you don't have to be like that. Oh. Right, this means is browning off nicely, so uh, let's take you down to there. You can see there, there's still a couple of bits left to turn, but I'm going to add this uh, chilli con carne mix in now. You want a bit of water in there, so what? Come on, guys. I'm going to try and find out what's actually in this packet and then make the, make the chilli from scratch. That'd be a good outdoor camping meal. I mean, I've just bought a load of foil bags as well that I could uh, maybe bag some of this up in a little mini sealer that I've got yeah, I think I might have to need to add just a dash of water in with that just to sort of thicken up the gravy type thing so to speak Looking and smelling rather nice. Forgot to mention the uh, rice, I think, as well. Again, still quite long and cheap, 35 pence, I think. This is a packet at the minute. Uh, the microwave rice, but I'm going to add that in just to the side of the chilli. Let it start to cook and then mix it all together. Good transition to colours there, but <laughs> we'll uh, give it a minute like that and then mix it in. Let's get it all mixed in now. Eh? There's one thing, it's going to be filling. <laughs> Looking is smelling rather nice. I think Dan might be here. Vegan Dan that is. <laughs> right, finish that off. <laughs> Evening. Good morning. Are you well? Yeah, I'm alive. Good man. I'm out. Can't argue with it, just I'm out. Kind of yeah. <laughs> you let it rain for? Oh, I just turned the tap on and left it on. <laughs> oh. Just a little bit more naga to it. Just there, look, can you see it? Try and get them flavours all the way around the pan. Get me a nuclear satsuma in the background. <laughs> or it's nuclear sanjuri. I can't remember what, what did you call it, Matt? Drop us a comment and let us know. This is uh, turning out pretty well. Trying to get all this rice mixed in. Don't want no, no bits of white rice, do we? I suppose it's going to be almost like uh, a cob burritos. And it's all mixed in like this. I mean, the tortilla wrap, but obviously I've got the little peshwaris, little mini naan breads. Now then, I think we might be done. I'm just gonna throw 
one of these peshwaris on top just to warm it through. And then I'm gonna sit and enjoy that. Right, time we get this uh, off at stove. There it's sizzling. <laughs> oh. I see what Mr. Mr. Minaga has done for me, Chile. It's nice. Not over top kick, just enough. Yeah, for four quid, camping meal. I know Dan's on a boiling the bag meal at the moment, but you get a lot more like this if you take the time and cook yourself. Yeah, you get a lot more than the boiling the bag meals. Right, I'm going to enjoy this and maybe join in the conversation. Right, well, I've got about halfway through and I'm stuffed. Can you see that one there? So what I'm going to do is I've cleaned the cup. I'm going to hopefully get all this in the cup. Oh! <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna get all this in the cup and then if I get a little bit hungry later on I can just sort of warm it up. Because oh, it's still only like six o'clock anyway. But. Mm, I had three of the peshwaris. It tasted quite fruity actually, did the peshwaris. Almost like a, a raisin or a sultana or something in there with it, but I looked at the packet, it didn't say that on it, so maybe it's just my taste buds. Right, so yeah, I'm going to put all this in the cup um, and then hopefully uh, I'm not wasting any of it. I can have it later on. Right, see you in a minute. Well, I haven't quite got my full sleep suit on yet, but I've just put my uh, new socks on from feet as well as the snug feet as well. Um, I haven't put the pants on or the jacket as yet. Just, uh, Hoping to get on top of being cold really rather than sort of starting to get cold and trying to warm up. Just sort of keep it on top of it. But yeah. Put myself into a bit of a food coma. It's gonna be a long night. The rain's picked up again. Not massively but you know the wind's been sort of bustling and howling through. So yeah, it's gonna be a long night in these uh howling for me, tents for them too. It's just a shame, it just spoils it when it's so cold for uh, sort of social interaction anyway. will not be so bad if I were on my own because I could just sort of go into my own little, little headspace type thing. But you do kind of feel a little bit ignorant when you just sort of lay in your hammock and come to it out there in, the, in their own tent obviously. But yeah, it's not good for social interaction. Right, I'm going to uh, probably stick a film or something and just to entertain myself in a bit. Well, good morning. It's quite literally 20 to 4 in the morning. I have no idea how long I'm going to be asleep. I've read um, Big Bang Theory playing on my phone. It's been quite most of the night. I must have just nodded off without realising. Um, got my headphones in as you can probably see, so it's been quite a peaceful night. Woke up for a bit of a tinkle. Rain sitting in the top, not heavily, but just constantly. Yeah, so it sounds like it's going to be a wet one in the morning, putting all this gear away. Oh. It's been a long night, though. Again, felt ignorant, but <laughs> wanted to stay warm. Not selfish. Well, good morning. It's coming up 8.30 now. Oh, I slept like a baby yet again. Lovely, toasty, warm, just brilliant night's sleep. Much better than a bed. Oh, looks like it's rained most of the night. It's going to be a, a soggy pack up. So again, it's going to be a stop, drop and roll. So I can get it back out when you want to get home and uh, 
get it all aired off. Fortunately enough, I've got the hammock stand in the back garden that I can air everything off from there. I've got like a, a little cupboard in my bedroom that I can just sort of dry the tarp off in. So, we'll see. <laughs> Right, better get a bit of a wriggle on, aren't I? It's good, like I said, it's coming up half past eight. I think Dan's got to be on by 9.30. I think he's going out with his family this morning, so... we are going to move on. I'll see you soon. Right, well, that's me for another camp. As I said earlier on in the video, I felt like a bit of a hermit in this one because I've literally been in that hammock since 4 o'clock. It's now coming up 9 o'clock, so that's like 14 hours, literally, just solid. Uh, I was glad to get outside and obviously say hello to both Dan's, which is, you know, normally we're all quite sociable and sat around and having a couple of drinks or something, but not, none of that last night. It was just, we were all too cold and too wet. So it was just straight in, in your pits. Uh, but yeah, that's me for another video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet, please consider subscribing and try and get me to that 6,000 mark. And uh, leave a comment, let me know what you thought about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.